Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can set up a Proxmox cluster. Um, and why you would want to do it is essentially if you have like multiple um, physical boxes with Proxmox installed, it's kind of a pain to, you know, log into each one to manage them. Um, as well as you can't do like migrations between one to another um, very easily if you don't have them clustered. So we'll be showing you how you can cluster it. Um, and then we'll probably create a video on, uh, they actually had an alpha release on their Proxmox data center that um, is kind of an overall view, kind of similar to like vCenter. Um, it's very alpha. I did install it earlier and I was just playing around with it a little bit. Um, so like, you know, not everything is fully functional, but it's a pretty good alpha star in my opinion, um, especially since it seems like Proxmox is trying to get more into the enterprise industry, which I enjoy so much. So, um, but in this video, we'll be just showing you how you can do the clustering um, and then like migrate VMs between each host. So let's get started. All right, so I have my two Proxmox machines. So I got PXC1 and a PXC2, uh, essentially, that are just um, VMs right now that I'm running just for the demo purposing. So what you want to do to set up a cluster is on one of them, um, and I usually just do it on number one, there is under the data center and server view, there is a cluster that you can create the cluster on this node. So we'll create cluster. We'll name this like Proxmox cluster. And then we will click create over here. So this will essentially create and set up a cluster that you can have other nodes join to essentially, um, which will make it easier for it to work. So um, hopefully it will go. There you go. So it says test. Okay. So now you can see if you close this, that in this cluster, we got cluster nodes and we got just that one host. So there is the joint information that will essentially be used to join from other nodes to this cluster. So if we go up to PXC2, we can see we'll go to cluster again. And over here, you can see there's a join cluster. So we won't create a new cluster because we've already created one. We'll click join over here. And then we will paste the information that is the join information. So we'll copy this and we will paste this in here. And then it'll prompt you um, for, it'll, it'll fill in everything, but it'll also prompt you for the root password so that it can essentially connect back. Um, and then everything else you can leave as default. And then we'll hit join Proxmox cluster here. And then, so it will essentially request to join. So logged in and request to join. Um, and then you'll see it'll get all set up and you can see it's starting to show up here. It's still red um, because it hasn't finished yet. Um, but once this essentially finishes, it should show up as green. So there we go. Um, it's still going. Eventually it will officially join. Um, you got to give it a few few seconds here. Um, it might take like a minute to like get everything. <clears throat> And here we go. And still running. Connection error. Let's reload this real quick. Oh. Okay, so there's an SSL error, and I wonder if it's because I like created the cluster and then I deleted it. Oh no, it's 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 good now. I'm just impatient. <laughs> That's what happens when you work in tech. You kind of get a little bit impatient too when you're when you're like, oh, why is it taking so long? Um, but there, that's pretty much how it is. It takes, it took probably like about a minute or two um, to fully finish. But you can see if on both on both PXC one and PXC two, it'll show up as a data center view now, and you can see both machines. Now, say for example, um, you can see that I have a test machine here um, and I want to migrate. So if you were to migrate, there's a migrate button over here and you can select the target node, which will be essentially the node that's it's not on PXC2, um, select the storage and you can hit migrate and it will go through and migrate from one node to the other. So it'll copy all the disks um, and then because it's running, it will also copy the RAM over 
and then start it up um, on the other side. So you can see how it's transferring here, which is pretty quick. Um, and then it will do the migration and downtime and then task OK. So now you can see over to the left that it is now on the second node. So it's super simple, super quick. Um, the, the quickness will depend on how big it is and what your network speed is as well. So I'm running 10 gig links between my two hosts. Um, so essentially everything is blazing fast. Um, maybe one day I'll be like running 25 gig links or 100 gig links, but uh, 10 gig will suffice for now. So that is how you can create a Proxbox cluster um, and migrate your VMs from one node to another. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.